and you're trying to build a bridge to get to the car from one side to the other. When the kids are presented a problem, they go through a process called the engineering process. They imagine how they're going to solve it, plan it out, then they try to create their plan. It goes through tests along the way. If the test doesn't work exactly the way they thought it would work, then they improve their plan and try it again. They're making connections that hopefully, in the future, they'll be able to build on these experiences and you know, and use these experiences to connect to more difficult things down the road. Oh, okay, try that again. I think a really important part of this is that kids realize that they're gonna fail sometimes, and that's okay. Sometimes things take a lot of time to figure out. If they need to go back and start their idea over again, that's reality. to be able to capture that moment when the kids succeed. It's just so rewarding. It's amazing how focused into the task they can be while they're trying to solve sometimes difficult things. So like the ball's gonna be in here and it's gonna be like that and it's gonna slide down like that. A lot of times it does surprise me the thinking that went through and how they solved the problem at hand, something that I might not have even thought about. It's just fascinating to see how the kids think and what they come up with, um, you know, based on really their creativity and experience. I have an idea, we can use this. You know, these little things the kids are learning right now, they're giving themselves like little hooks for the future. And they're gonna come back to this experience down the road and, and be like, oh, I remember what I did in STEAM and they'll, they'll fall back on these experiences, I'm sure. Just recently, I've had some kids mention that, oh, I just went through the process at home doing this. It's exciting to see how this is naturally flowing into their everyday lives.